going on, YouTube world? I'm driving. I had another thing on my mind. Oh, one, one more thing. People always say uh, that the Middle East people, like the, the Taliban, uh, Al-Qaeda, all that kind of shit, or entities, should I say, that they're terrorists. And I'm like, let's really look into this. Because, you know, the government, who I don't trust, it's the same government that, uh, that approves the sale of guns at Walmart next to the kitty department. Yeah, and they really care about our safety? Believable. But anyway, this government told us that they're the evil people. They are the people who are, you know, terrorists. Now, let's really look at the word terrorist, okay? I've, I've looked this word up many, many times in many, many different interpretations of the, the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, which everybody considers the, the standard for, you know, the English language. So, according to the dictionary, terrorist is a person who terrorizes, which means to strike fear or intimidate, bully. And I'm like, and I had to think about it for a little bit. I was like, isn't that what Americans do to other countries? We go over there. We rape them of the natural resources. We give them pennies on the dollar for it. And we go over there and get in their business, which we shouldn't do. I mean, I understand we have allies and everything, but most of the time we go to another country is to rape their country of their resources and push democracy on them. And democracy doesn't fucking work here. And if you don't believe that, that when did, how did democracy work in 2000 when the election was stolen by George W. Bush? Yeah, stolen. And to top it off, like, they're so sloppy, like, they're so cocky that they get sloppy and they don't care how bad they fuck up, they'll always cover it up. Like, isn't it a, isn't it a strange coincidence that the uh, one state that had the trouble with the votes is the state that George Bush's brother's the governor of? Really? Like, seriously? Come on, man. Like, this country, are the, we're the terrorists. We go over there, we take their natural resources, we kick them off their land. Remember what happened with the Indians, huh? kick them off their land, we kill them, and for the troubles, we'll give them some food. No wonder they want to kill us. No wonder they hate us. It's a reason they do. I mean, we go over there and we go into their country, unbeknownst to them. It'd be different if their political people were actually crying out for help, but they're not. We're going over there, investigating things for the wrong reason. Like the whole war on Iraq, that shit was, should have been called the war on oil. I mean, we're, we're the terror. We terrorize our own people. We have discriminated against black people. Hispanic people, Chinese people, and then the latest people that were the victim of this discrimination was the Muslims and the Arabs. When that 2001 shit happened, they had me hating Arabs. <clears throat> like, real talk. Like, and I'm listening to the damn government thinking that the, the Arabs are the fucking enemy. No! I mean, I give you, yeah, somehow it's a certain groups over there, but the groups aren't big enough. And, at the same time, the American government gives them their weapons. Did you know that? Yes! Bush Sr. gave them all the weapons that they have. So when George Bush Jr. says they have weapons of mass destruction, he knows because his daddy's got the receipts. But that's a different post. So what I'm saying is we go over there, we fuck with them, we kill them, we give them a little bit of food for their trouble, and um, and we're supposed to be the hero. And we push something on them that doesn't even work over here. Because this country's not even a democracy. And that's a different story. And a different post. Stay tuned for that one. It's really gonna trip you out. <sighs> the research... You people should thank me for the research that I do. But anyway, back to what I was saying. America, we are the terrorists, okay? It's not Al-Qaeda. It's not the Taliban. It's us. We terrorize our own people, okay? We're the ones who sick dogs on black people in the 50s and 60s and the 20s and the 30s and the 40s, okay? We're the ones that pass laws to say that white people aren't humans and they aren't, I mean, black people aren't humans and aren't fit to live amongst white people. We are the same people who deny people the opportunity to get a proper education at a prestigious university because of the color of our skin. We did this. Not other countries. We did this. America, the greatest country supposedly ever. We did this. We are the terrorists. Not you and me or anybody else. It's the government. Our government are a bunch of fucking terrorists. Money, hungry, terrorists. Dictators, even. I mean, if you think Hitler was bad, I mean, he only killed, what, I believe it's six million Jews? Our government is responsible for almost a billion deaths, starting with the inception of this country, the Civil War, sending people to World War I, World War II, fucking Vietnam. We are, as a cover government, we're responsible for more than a billion deaths. Our genocide goes deeper. It goes into mental genocide. Our, country, our government's so fucked up that it makes us hate ourselves. 
It makes us have drinking problems. It makes society, makes women hate themselves and think that they're ugly and think that they're fat. And they're not. Our government endorses the shit that happens every day in our country. And we're so brainwashed that we love the fuck. We're getting raped and we love the fucking. Like, where they do that at? So, the next time somebody wants to call somebody in the Middle East with a towel over their head a fucking terrorist, they need to investigate their own government. Because our government, A, is not honest with us. B, doesn't give a fuck about us. C, it's not even, it's not even out to do anything right. All they're trying to do right now is this fucking cover-up shit to get a one-world government and a one-world monetary system under Satan. And if you don't believe me, uh, I bet you a bunch of y'all remember the day Michael Jackson, his, his fucking memorial service was, and he was murdered, by the way. This is just so you know, okay? He, the day his, murder, his, uh, his service was up, the Pope announced that he was urging the United Nations and America to establish a one-world government. If you don't believe me, these are files. This is common knowledge. It is on the internet. Look it up. The day Michael Jackson had his funeral, I think it was June the 7th, 09 or 08, whatever fucking year it was, that is the day that the Pope declared that he wants the United Nations to establish a one-world government. And this ain't the fucking first time they tried to do this shit, okay? They tried to do it back when the, um, right before the French Revolutionary War. But uh, I guess the guy in, uh, was it? not French Revolution, but some kind of war that was in the early like 1700s, and the German guy... Uh, found out what the Rothschilds planned to do, and he uh, torpedoed that idea. And the Rothschilds swore, um, they swore vengeance on their Russian czar until him and his whole family was annihilated, yada, yada, yada. That's a different set of research, and that's a different story. But anyway, I just got to the crib, and I'm 